Welcome back to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy, and today I am going to show you how to transfer files via the Linux command line using the SCP command. I'm using Ubuntu 18.04.3 LTS. On this side, I have my local machine, and I'm in a directory called local dir. And on this side, I am SSH'd into a remote server, and we are in a directory called remote dir. If you don't know what SSH is or how to use it, no need to fear. Go to codingcommanders.com slash SCP. There you will find all of today's commands. This includes file transfer commands, as well as any other handy dandy information that is going to help you. Let's look inside local DIR. We have a directory called art and a file called hello.py. In our remote DIR, we have a file called nurse.py and a directory called haiku. First, we're going to transfer a file from our remote server to our local machine. We want to join hello in nurse by transferring nurse.py from our remote directory over to our local directory. You are looking at the general command setup. So what I'm going to do now is plug in the appropriate values so we can go ahead and transfer that file. As you can see, the username on our remote server is commander. And for the host name, you can put a name or the IP address. You may use the command ifconfig in order to find out what IP address to use. Our remote server's IP address is 192.168.1.7.1. Now we're going to fill in the remote directory where nurse.py is located. If you're not sure of the correct file path, you can enter the command pwd print working directory in order to find out the file path for your current directory. Lastly, we are going to plug in our file's destination. This is the directory on our local server where we want to transfer the file to. Now we're going to go ahead and test out our command all put together. It's going to prompt you for a password. This is the password for our remote server user. Let's ls. And look, nurse is indeed there. Now we are going to transfer a file from our local server over to the remote server. You can see the syntax for that command on the screen right now. Now let's go ahead and plug in our values. Now let's go ahead and ls to make sure that that file is on the remote server. As you can see, I'm at commander at lamp queen. That is our remote server. And hello.py is indeed there. Hello, nurse. Now we are going to transfer an entire directory from our remote server to our local machine. We will do so by adding dash r to the command. That is a recursive argument, and adding that means the command will apply to all files and subdirectories within the name directory. So we're going to take the directory haiku that is located on our remote server and we're going to transfer it over to our local server. Here you see the syntax for our command. Now we're going to plug in our values. from our local server over to the remote server. On our local server, we have a directory called art. The directory art contains some cosplay photos and we would like to transfer it over to the remote server. Here you see the syntax for our command. Now we're going to plug in our values. Now we're in our remote server again commander at lamp queen and let's check to make sure that the file was indeed successfully transferred 
Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest of all my computer programming and Linux command line tutorials. Also, please comment below and let me know if you'd like me to do a tutorial on command line Python. If enough people are interested, then that will be the next video that I work on. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, happy coding!